Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. This is part 21 of Python tutorial course using Jupyter Notebook. In this tutorial, how to join two tables using stored procedures from MySQL PHP MyAdmin database. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before writing the coding part to join multiple tables, first we'll check the table and the column names. For this example, I am taking two tables. The table name is a country. The first table is a country which contains two columns CID and CNAME. CID column is a auto generated column which is a country ID. And the second table is a state table which contains three columns state ID, state name, and CID which is a country ID. So now my aim is I want to join these two tables using stored procedures in Python. Now the first condition when we want to join two tables at least one column must be similar between these two tables. If you notice in the state table there is a CID column and in the country table there is a CID column. With the help of these two columns I want to join this country and state table. So first let's create a stored procedure and I have created this country and state table in the sample DB database. This is a sample DB database. Let's create a stored procedure. In the same database, there is a procedures folder. Click that one. Come to the bottom. Notice here there is a add routine here. Click that one. Let's give the name for this procedure. Join tables is my stored procedure name. And the type is a procedure only. I'm not adding any parameters because I want to get the output. So here I'm writing the statement select country table from the country table dot CID the column name comma country table dot column name is a C name comma state table dot state name. I want to display the columns CID, country ID, country name and state name from from country table and state table. Now between this country and state table I am adding the condition join on between country and state table we have the column common names or country id so country dot cid column name is equals to state table dot the cid which is a country id that's it once we add the sql statement then click go notice the stored procedure is added successfully if you notice at the top also join tables has been created. So let's execute these join tables. Let's copy this procedure name. Click SQL. OK. To execute the stored procedure in MySQL we need to use a call the stored procedure name join tables. That's it. Click go. So here we got the results of these two tables CID, CNAME and state name. Now let's call these joint tables in Python to get these results. I'm using Jupyter Notebook to write the Python code. Let's create a new Python Notebook. Let's give the proper name for this notebook. Join tables stored procedure. Click rename. When we want to dealing with a particular database, we need to install that packages. Here I'm using MySQL PHP MyAdmin database. So let's install the MySQL PHP MyAdmin database packages. 
pip install my sql client let's run this command and here we got some message here requirement already satisfied below that we got a note you may need to restart the kernel to use these updated packages so let's restart the kernel restart so once I restart this kernel let's write the coding part import mysql db once I add the mysql db package then declare the db is a variable to connect my php my admin database so my sql db dot connect method this connect method takes four parameters the first parameter is the host name which is a local host comma the second parameter is a user id user id is a root comma and the password is empty here because i don't have any password to log into my php my admin database so if you have any password please enter that one and the last parameter is a database name here our database name is sample db database this is the sample db database let's add that one sample db database then to execute the stored procedure or select statements we use the cursor method so let's declare another variable execute cursor is equals to db dot cursor method after we add the cursor method then let's execute the stored procedure execute cursor dot to execute the stored procedure we need to add the call prc proc call procedure between double quotes i'm adding my procedure name our procedure name is um, join tables copy this one and paste here once we execute the stored procedure we need to fetch all the records from this procedure so for that I'm adding uh, results is a variable execute cursor dot fetch all method once I fetch the records I want to display for that I'm using for loop for display records is a variable in results colon notice here once I add the colon when I click tab the cursor is blinking with some gap and this back uh, this gap is called the indent so write the code where the cursor is blinking print display records that's it we have done the complete coding part to fetch the records from these two procedures join tables run so here we got the output the CID country ID country name and state state names that's it